short and sweet. <laughs> we are under polygon modeling and we create a plane. And with Control A, we activate the attribute editor, go to the polyplane plane node and create some more subdivisions, more geometry, and make this thing a little bit wider. Nothing really fancy. Now we deform it. You find the def deformation. You need to go to modeling and here's the deformation, big menu. And then under nonlinear, you find the wave, which sits here and it does nothing because we need to raise the amplitude. I just raise it slightly to 0.01, like this. You see already that the plane is being deformed, maybe 0.2. And I reduce the wavelength to 0.1. Now we have this kind of wave. And well, that's basically all I need. I go to the very beginning and I create an animation. I keyframe the wave handle. And I go to the end, which is frame 120 in this case. And I move it forward and maybe slightly to the side. And I set another keyframe by pressing the key S. Well, this is the animation. But now comes something special and that's what this tutorial is basically about. I go to Windows and open the Bifrost Graph Editor. The Bifrost Graph Editor wants me to create a graph, which I'm ready to do. And I don't need the input because the input is going to be our plane. Middle mouse drag the plane in here. Now we have an input and an output and we need to do something in between. Press the tab key. And the tab key has uh, all the options here, lots of nodes, and I only demonstrate one of them today. It's under Diagnostic, and it's under Display, and it's called Point Scope. Lots of others as well. You see blue and blue, this is usually all right connecting these two, and we connect this to the output, and that's basically all there is. And now you see interesting things happening. We hide the original plane. And now we have lots of dots. And when we run the animation, we have this effect. You see that they change the color sometimes. This is more yellow, this is green. This is due to the settings of this node. And you see them here. I just point you to one setting which is the default size. And I reduce this from 0 0.05 to 0 0.02. And now the dots are smaller. You can give them other shapes. It's all in that node. It renders all right. It renders even without a light. But when you introduce a light, don't be frustrated because it doesn't produce shadows. It's just a diagnostic tool, but actually quite nice. Bye.